All right, so today I stumbled on something new called Zellige or Zellige. I'm not certain how that's pronounced, but essentially this is an alternative to something like Tmux. At least that's what it is in my opinion. And while I don't see myself adopting this or Tmux anytime soon, at least not for my daily driver, I do think this is an interesting tool. I think it's interesting. And one of the main reasons I find it interesting is because the shortcuts that are involved are pretty intuitive. And by default, you can see on the bottom of the screen here, you can see the shortcuts that are available. So it tells me I can use control, for example, and P. So if I do control P here, I then have options. And one of the options is an N here. So now if I hit N, you can see it splits the screen for me. So it's nice to have these shortcuts available. So I can just control P again. And if I want to look at my options here, I can move with arrows then. Or if I had escape here to go out of the pain mode, if you will, or the pain shortcut mode. Now I can use alt and an arrow to move between the panes. And I believe that's what it is here for iTerm as well. Oh no, it's not. I never remember what this shortcut is because I just have it burned into my mind, but it's similar. It's alt command and up and down in this case in iTerm. Same idea here, except it's just alt left and alt right to move between the panes and control P again. There's also an option that doesn't fit in the controls down below and that's a D which will allow you to split horizontally or vertically. I'm not certain which way that's technically referred to. I see that you're breaking the screen in half from left to right, so that to me seems horizontal. Hopefully that's right. Anyways, now I have another tab opened up. And so if I wanna move between these, alt up, alt left, alt down. Dot, all right, down does nothing, that makes sense. Alt right, alt right, alt down. So I can move between the various windows, alt left here to go over to the left. That all makes a lot of sense. And so that's something I can definitely appreciate. And of course, then there's also a mode here for tabs. So if I hit Control and T, you can see it highlights the tab section down below. And now I have commands that are available. For example, I can use N to create a new tab. And then if I use Control T again, I believe I can move by just using the arrow keys. So yeah, I can move through my tabs here. I can make a new tab again, open up tab three. If you're the type of person that likes to name things, there's an R for rename. I could call this Foo, Enter. And if I want to go back to tab two, alt and left. So the same key that moves you between panes can help you move between tabs. So in here, it's allowing me to move between the various panes. And if I hit alt return when I'm on a rightmost side here, that'll take me to tab two. Again, takes me to tab three, which is called foo. So I definitely can appreciate the fact that it's easy to create new tabs and new panes and to navigate around that. Because in my experience, while I like Tmux a lot when it comes to recreating an environment, for example, creating exercise files for a course, I can set up a multi-paned environment that you can run with Tmux. It'll pull up and run various commands for you, or it'll run various commands over and over and over in a watch loop for you. I like that, but when it comes to Tmux, if you had to ask me, even though I've created multiple different sessions that are shareable in Tmux, I cannot for the life of me remember how to do anything when I open Tmux beyond just opening Tmux. And now if I want to split out a pane, I have no idea how to do that. So I had to ask ChatGPT to help me out here. So as you can see, splitting up above here is control B and a percent sign, which makes no sense to me. And it's a double quote to split vertically. So control B and percent, and then control B and double quote. So while that works, I have no idea how I'd actually learn that short of looking it up every time I use Tmux until I've used Tmux so much that it's actually burned into my mind. Whereas I feel like with Zellige over here, a lot of these shortcuts make a lot of sense. There's a lot of customizability when it comes to Zellige. For example, there's even a feature where you can create layouts. And I believe if I do Zellige here and then set up, and then I dump out the layouts, yep. I can dump out the compact layout, for example. So there's a configuration language, and I believe this is KDL language, whatever that is. They had YAML previously, if I understand correctly, and they switched to this other language. It's pretty straightforward, though. You can see here that this would create two separate panes. So you can create layouts in and open those up. You can, of course, manage sessions. There's a control and O, and then you can use the session manager here. You can tab between the interfaces here. I could create a new session called test. I could pick a layout. And that's actually a scrolling list here. If I zoom out, let's see if we zoom out here. Yeah, there you go. You can see multiple options. And if I were to pick this compact mode, opens up a new session. Actually, it looks like I picked the wrong mode there, but this one is a file selector. Not certain I'm a huge fan of how this file selector works, but basically I could pick a file here, hit return, and it'll open it up in a new pane, or at least it's supposed to. I probably don't exactly know how to use it. 
nonetheless, this is yet another layout that you can create. And of course you could create your own layouts. So if this is something you're interested in, if you like something like Tmux and you're looking for an alternative that maybe makes a little more sense in terms of the shortcuts, I definitely give this a thumbs up in terms of usability. Um, it's definitely better than using something like Tmux. But in my opinion, I'm probably just going to stick with the fact that both of the terminals I use most of the time, iTerm and then Windows Terminal, both of them have the ability to create tabs. Both of them have the ability to create panes. And so this is what I'm sticking with for right now. That said, in the future, I hope to make some sort of exercise environment with Zellage so I can get a more informed opinion about that. And if I do that and I like it, I'll definitely make a follow-up video. And if you've watched this far, you tell me in the comments what you think about Zellage versus Tmux. Tell me what you're thinking. Is it something you use on a daily basis? Is it something you like to use for one-off reproducible environments? Tell me what you think about this. And actually tell me if there are other alternatives like Zellage that make more sense versus Tmux.